fellow Sierra Leoneans, Mohamed Kamarimba Mansare, Monday, June 24, 2019. Mifambule Mare can't talk about the proposed Lunge Bridge and we economy very quickly this morning. Mifambule, the president and this government behold the ceremony last week said and get a proposal for come build the bridge to Lunge. In as much as we all want to see a bridge in Lunge, but the president failed to realize, say, you no go just play and promise when you're doing governance. You for deliver. I be don't tell people of this country. Politicians then get two things. When you're in opposition, you promise heaven to everybody. And but when you're doing governance, you for deliver. When you fail for deliver, the people then for hold you accountable. Me fumble them. The president don't make it easy for we in 2023 when we go get we next election. He don't get a proposal where he right there say in 2023 this bridge by 2023 this bridge will be completed. Me, Mohammed Kamarimba Mansare, go can make an open challenge to President Julius Madabio. If he construct this bridge, if President Julius Madabio and in government construct this bridge the day before election in 2023, me, Kamarimba drive and pay toll, I drive past that bridge irrespective maybe candidate for president at this country or not may go vote for president julius madabio in 2023 i can repeat that again and at the urge every Sierra Leonean for do that but if president julius madabio not give you this bridge by 2023 before the day before the election I the urge back every Sierra Leonean for vote against in candidacy. It's about time we stop for make promises then just forget cheap political point. You know, when they talk about government is continuity. President Bio be one of the first African president or West African president. We cancel a contract already signed by him predecessor, the former president been get an airport and um, contract being signed by international partners and what you do, a cancel them. So believe in me, for let you get a sober minded uh, investors and for kind invest, then go always afraid. You don't set a bad precedent. I remember CNN in America cover that story they say President Julius Madabi will be the first president for council, those kind of billions, over $300 million airport contract. Remember when I see the news on CNN? It is sending a bad signal. In as much, even some policies that we government they do now, if me Kamariba be president in 2023, and I'm more with international partners, you know, you just come, you scrap them. You go for fair own way, how you go do for even make them better because he could send a bad message. President Julius Madabio and in government, we think back and reflect to Sierra Leoneans them, the toll road. When the Chinese then come, then being come fry we with wheel oil, then construct the road about 10%, then then put toll already for make we can begin pay. It will not pay for how many years now? Over two or more years would they pay? Plenty of money would they pay? Now that money now they use for make the road. So they they fry away with the oil. But the bridge, they not be able to do it. You go for spend hundred percent for finish before you you know go do 10, 20 percent of a bridge, you begin charge people and toll. So I don't know if this president, a government they realize those things. 
because they want to use away investments in Camden, people and pay toll for the next 25 or more years for low pay for the bridge. Now we're back get for pay for this bridge. But they're not she don't think about it. It's just the same way we then just rush for gain political score, then talk about free and quality in education, which is not sustainable. We all know now. The economy, they're in a mess. If me fumble of I just recall when just before the president announced about this bridge, we get stressed in the economy. We get a shock in the economy. One hundred dollars is eight hundred and ninety thousand leons. Then, in few days today, this morning, Monday, when are June twenty-four, the dollar is about nine hundred and thirty thousand leons. It's sad. A time like this where people are not get food in their plate, they're not able to feed them, picking them. People are not be need for beg, call people and go visit people and for beg them. Now that they go over, they go and beg for me and get things for eat. A time like this where the president and focus now for develop human capital, now for see how this rest and plus us, this bread and butter issue, for be in focal point, if for be in priorities. Yes, we all want to see bridges, we want to see vast infrastructure development. But you're not going to be able if you not develop human capital first. No nation, no, we don't spend billions and billions, two billions or more on a bridge. We not develop the own human capital first. Now check all the record on the wall. You're not going to just jump and try to do things when the, the, you know, the baby step things away for do. You're not able to do them. You know, they work. We all in the president be like this thing, uh, Tolombo no de Sidoya, angry Boku. I believe say by 2023, if you not change your policies, them, if you not tackle the economy, the bread and butter issue, the rest and plazas, the remix could be now, Pao Pano de Sidoya, angry the kill we. You know, it's about time we focus things that matter to the people. It no matter what thing you do, President Julius Madabio, at the end, people in the look about the economy. You know, your current finance minister, now be the champion, the bread and butter issue, now the media all over the place. And indeed, I'll be happy where you may come and the finance minister for control this money. What you don't do with about two years ago now, so it's about 15 months. What he don't do now for tackle this economy? Zero for now. Things them, we will be meet, we will be president. Now everything don't go up. We don't even get for solo maintain this price. Everything for me be president when you talk about food item, when you talk about bread and butter issue, when you talk about rice and plazas, don't go up. I the urge you, Mr. President, focus on the economy. Focus on the economy. The people in the struggle, the people in the suffer, the people in really need jobs, jobs, and jobs. They need business opportunity, business and they fall down, and things they're not going well. The economy, they're in ruins. You know, you're not going to be able to fit uh, the economy. You're not going to be able to tackle, manage the economy with propaganda, with lies. No government, no president, not going to be able to do them. You're not going to be able, because at the end of the day, now there's somebody really don't have bed. We don't get food for eating on it. Now you understand the pain where they get. The picking really don't. We're not able to feed in, in, in picking them in our house. Now that person they don't understand the pain. You not going to understand. We all not going to understand. Now I make you not able no president, no government you able to use propaganda and lie for manage economy. You go man you go do other things for lie against propaganda. But when it comes to this belle, you not going able. So Mr President again the bridge <laughs> you don't promise this you're not in opposition, your governance and a policy statement by 2023 before the election, this bridge will be completed. And Migoj, APC, SAPP, ADP, all PMDC, all political parties, now this country, yeah, if you make this bridge, we go give you, by 2023, the day before the election, we go give you a second term. And mark my word, I will go openly and campaign again for that. But if you don't, we all go campaign against for make you be the OTP. Why we don't predict, say, if you not do well, you could be a one-term president of Sierra Leone. Enough is enough. 
We need for take Sierra Leone serious. We need for take the people and life in this country serious. Again, I'm Mohammed Kamarimba Mansare. May God bless you now all. May God continue for bless this will be loved Sierra Leone. Goodbye.